I'm going to have to get Jack to pass him to me because he was being a little bit bitey when I tried to get him. <laughs> this is Titan. He's a little leopard. You're cute, aren't you, Munch? He's a beautiful cat. And I love him. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing the get to know me tag. Now if you watch YouTube you'll know exactly what this video is but for those who don't really watch YouTube this video is a set of questions which will allow you all to get to know me a little bit better because in my last video, I said to you that I really wanted to do some more um, daily vlog style videos, but I thought that I should let you guys get to know me a little bit more so that the videos make sense and you know what you're in for. <laughs> um, so I have a set of questions on my phone, which Everybody answers. Everyone in this tag answers the same questions. So here we go. Let's get into it. Okay, so question number one is, what is your full name? My full name is Jade Louise Aimer. However, quite recently, within the past couple of years, my Nana told me that in Egypt, because I have quite a lot of family who are Egyptian and live in Egypt, they pronounce our surname as El, um, yeah, El Desiki Abdul Masood Amir. So I have probably completely butchered that and I'm sorry Nana or anybody in Egypt who is watching my video and they're probably going to tell me I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, apparently that's how we say Ama in Egypt. Um, so that is my full name. However, when I first met Jack, my boyfriend, I told him this and he thought it was absolutely hilarious um, and saved my name on his phone as El Desiki. And since then, he has always called me El. So some people know me as Jade, but a lot of people know me as El. And that is why, hence the YouTube name. Question number two is, where are you from? So like I just said, I am a quarter, I believe, a quarter Egyptian, um, but I currently live in England. I am from a seaside town uh, in Kent called Deal, and I absolutely love living here. So that's where I'm from, but hopefully one day, if we're lucky enough, I will live in Cornwall, St Ives to be spitted. Question number three is, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do have siblings. I have three. I have a 15-year-old sister called Amber. I have a nine-year-old sister, nine, ten. How old am I? Oh my goodness. Nine-year-old sister called Jasmine. And I have a little brother who is about to turn three next week. And his name is Lennox. So I am the oldest. And yeah, I have three little siblings to look after. Question number four is, are you in a relationship? As I just mentioned, yes, I am in a relationship. I have been with Jack for this year, it'll be three years. Um, and yeah, it's wonderful. Um, so yeah, I am in a relationship. Question number five, is do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have two pets. Um, one Bengal called Titan. And if you know anything about Bengals, you'll know how wild my life is with Titan. And I also have a gecko called Lumi, Lumi Lizard, and I will show you them now. In the bush basket. <laughs> oh, bless him. This is Titan. He's been a good boy at the minute. He's a bit moody, but he's beautiful. Look at his skin. Who's for Jack? <laughs> See what I said when I said he's wild? <laughs> Ow! He actually got me. 
my turn. Now, don't face him on. Don't face him my way. Don't <laughs> face him that way. No, he's looking at me. Okay. <sighs> okay. This is Lumi Lizard, and he is a crested gecko. Um, he used to be called Jeff, but we renamed him to Lumi because we like Lumi. He's like a mini crocodile. He's very cool. He freaks me out a little bit because he jumps. That's Lumi Lizard. <laughs> oh, he's actually been all right, isn't he? <gasps> he's sticking his tongue out. Good boy. That's the best he's been with me. Ah, find him. Next question is, did you go to school or college? Uh, I did, I went to both. So I went to a secondary school in Deal called Castle Community College. And I went to, to college straight after that where I trained to be a makeup artist. Question number seven is, what is the last thing you listened to on Spotify? This could be embarrassing. Probably like Robbie Williams or something. <laughs> the last thing I listened to on Spotify was a podcast called Shagged, Married, Annoyed. And that is something you'll find being played on my Spotify a lot because I absolutely love that podcast. I started listening to it in lockdown just for a bit of a pick me up. And I had no idea what I was letting myself into. I am absolutely obsessed. Chris and Rosie Ramsey are one of a kind. I really hope one day I can meet them because I love them a lot. So if you haven't listened to it already, go and listen to Shag Married Annoyed. Question number eight is, what is your favourite TV show? Now, this really depends on when you're asking me because it changes a lot. Right now, it is Peaky Blinders by a Million Miles. I am absolutely obsessed with that program at the moment. We are only on series five and I have got my ears closed because I cannot bear the thought of somebody spoiling it for me. So yeah, Peaky Blinders right now. However, I am a lover of reality shows too. So I love keeping up with the Kardashians. Um, I love Sam and, not Sam, I love Billy and Greg, the family diaries and I am absolutely obsessed with Gogglebox. I hope one day I can be on Gogglebox <laughs> because it is my favourite show ever um, and I also have a place in my heart for Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. I'm very sad it's over and I feel like my heart is still hurting because of it. So yeah, depends when you ask me. Question number nine is who are your favorite youtubers now this changes quite a lot but i'll give you my top five not in any particular order i love zoe sug also known as zoella and her partner alfie i love molly may um i really love jamie genevieve as well who else do i enjoy watching I love all of the original YouTubers, like the ones who made this platform blow up. So we're talking Tanya Burr, Zoe Sugg, Jim Chapman, Marcus Butler, Naomi. If I had started YouTube back then with those guys, wow, I think I'd be content for the rest of my life. They're all great. So yeah, they're my top five YouTubers or top however many I just said. <laughs> Question number 10 is, do you have any bad habits? Now, I don't know if this is a habit, but it's definitely addiction. I also don't know if it's bad. Probably bad for me, but I am absolutely obsessed with calling the caterpillar cakes. Now, doesn't matter the size. I love the big ones, the small ones, the heads, the speckles, the giant face. Has to be from Marks and Spencers. It's definitely the best one. Just, yeah, I mm, call it the caterpillars. Um, and another bad habit, which is a little bit deeper, and I'll go into it probably in another video one day. Hopefully I'll be able to help somebody else who is probably suffering with the same thing. 
but I have quite a bad cleaning and um, like obsessive, yeah, obsessive tidying and cleaning um, problem. Now that sounds probably like the dream to some people, but unless you've had it, you won't understand how much it takes over your life. Um, I won't get too deep, but it started in lockdown when we lost control of everything. And that was probably my way of taking control. So you can probably see by the bedroom, everything has to have its place. I get very stressed if it's not in its place. Yeah, I won't go into it too much, but yeah, cleaning and obsessively tidying is a bad habit of mine that I will definitely be getting on top of this year. Okay, question number 11 is, do you have any hobbies? Now, if you've watched my first video, you'll know that my main hobby is running. However, I also love boxing as well. And that is because my dad is a boxer or was a boxer, a very successful boxer. And I think he just passed that passion on to me. I'm not going to say <laughs> that I'm, I'm definitely not as good as him, no way. Um, I don't know if I can class it as a hobby because I don't do it that much, but it's definitely a passion. I really enjoy boxing. Question number 12 is, what's your favourite meal? Now, if Colin the Caterpillar could be a meal, it would be Colin the Caterpillars. <laughs> However, like I said when I was showing you Lumi Lizard, I love halloumi. So anything halloumi based is automatically my favourite meal. Jack and I went to Santorini and the Greek food was heaven. So although it's not a meal as such, I would say anything Greek. Mm. I'm also vegetarian, so my favourite meal is always going to be veggie. Final question, question 13 is, where do you see yourself in a year's time? So I am a big believer in setting goals, um, manifesting them. I'm a huge believer in the law of attraction. I will 100% be doing a video on the law of attraction because the things that have happened to me are unbelievable. I can't not tell you, they're crazy. So I believe in setting goals and finding the way to make them happen. I have a vision board for what I'd like to happen this year. And on that vision board, without the deep things, um, I would really love to have a dog within a year. I'm just, I know they're a commitment, but I feel like we're ready for a dog now. Like my heart is just missing a tiny little piece and I know it's that, I know it's a dog. Um, I also see myself in a nice new car. Um, hopefully my YouTube would have grown so I can see myself doing this for sure. And who knows, maybe I'll run another marathon. There are some other goals on there, but maybe a little bit too deep for this video. <laughs> so yeah, I do definitely believe in setting goals and I do have, um, visions of where my, where I see myself in a year. So let's make it happen. So that is the end of my get to know me tag. I hope you feel like you've learned a little bit more about me. I'm sure as I film more videos, especially the more daily vlog style videos, you'll learn a little more about me along the way. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. My subscribers have been creeping up since my last video, so don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. And if there's anything you want to ask me, then please feel free to leave it in the comments. I will definitely reply and I will see you in my next video.